how to find product opportunities using brand analytics. Now, why is this important and how can it make you money? Well, Amazon actually released brand analytics to the public a few years ago, and it was really quite surprising to see this level of data made available to everyone. Um, brand analytics shows you the top keywords on Amazon ranked by search frequency on a weekly, daily, or monthly basis. So for each of the top three keywords, it displays the three most clicked products along with the percentage of total clicks each product received. So even more useful, it actually also reveals which of those products had the most conversions, meaning the highest sales for that keyword. So if you actually have brand registry, you have access to this data. However, in Seller Central, analyzing it is very difficult, as many of you probably already know. You have to deal with these massive data sets and sometimes millions of keywords downloaded into an Excel file. And then you have to run pivot tables to find any meaningful opportunities. I know a lot of us have actually tried to download the Excel files before there were any tools available, and it takes hours and hours just to download the files. So on top of that, it's really difficult to link the data that you get in Brain Analytics to Helium 10 data, like search volume. Um, so that makes this whole process a little bit more cut cumbersome. So that's why we created this amazing tool in Helium 10. When your Amazon Seller Central account is connected to Helium 10 and you have access to brand registry, you can access this tool and it's called black box ABA top, top search terms or Amazon brand analytics top search terms. And this tool actually allows you to set criteria and mix Helium 10 data with brand analytics data, making it so much easier for you to uncover valuable product opportunities without having to manually sift through all this massive amounts of data. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how this tool can offer you um, some incredible, incredible insights and help you to find your next winning product. So Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is you want to go into Helium 10 and then you're gonna click on tools and then you're gonna click on black box, okay? So that's where this tool is going to live and it's under the ABA top search terms uh, tab right here. There's a bunch of tabs in black box. So I want you to click on that one. And so what we're going to do down here is we're going to be able to filter through this brand analytics data. Now you're going to search by week because this is actually released by week. So all of your data might be different based on the different weeks. So I'm just going to choose that random week. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a minimum of 60 here. Now this is the uh, top three ASINs that have the total click share. So the top three products that have the most clicks. And I'm looking for products that have a minimum of 60% of all the clicks. And then I'm going to go over to this and say, I want to see they have a minimum of 60% of clicks, but they only have between one and 30% of the conversion share. Now, why would that be important for me to kind of look at? Well, basically, if some if a product's getting 60% of the click share or maybe the top three products, then you would think, okay, they're getting 60% of the conversion share. Well, that's not always the case. So if they're not actually getting that much conversion share or less than half of the, the clicks basically are just, you know, going off to somewhere else, that shows you that there's some opportunity. Maybe these products are not, you know, listed very well and maybe you can beat the competition there. There could be some good opportunity to, you know, maybe the product's not even found. So it's definitely a good way to take a look at this data. So then we're gonna go ahead and the next thing we're gonna do is search for it. I'm gonna do with Helium 10 data, I'm gonna do a ma uh, minimum of 3,000, maximum of 8,000. And then a word count minimum of two. Now this is just because I want more longer tail keywords, not those kind of general keywords. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit apply filters and we'll see what we get here in the results. Okay, so we can take a look here. Uh, we've got some interesting things here. We've got the Northman, have no idea what that is. A uh, straw cup. So it looks like a cup with a straw. Got a lot of makeup stuff. And here, I'm gonna go to the next page here. Let's see what we can find. Pillowcase, a blissy pillowcase. So let's take a look at what that is. A blissy pillowcase, it looks like these silk pillowcases. So that could potentially be, you know, a good product if you know, if you're uh, able to, you know, see that there's not as much competition there. Battery bulbs, battery bulbs. So uh, bulbs that have batteries in them maybe, or something like that. Uh, that's very interesting. So that could be an interesting, an interesting product as well. So. As you can see here, um, there's definitely a lot of potential opportunity using these brand analytics terms. Now this is gonna vary week by week, but this is a great way to kind of find those products where maybe the you know the top clicks, they're not really converting. So you can see why they're not converting, maybe they're, it's a listing or maybe the product just doesn't even exist. Really great way to find some awesome potential product ideas.